Hello everyone, let's look at fraction word problems from Primary 6 Mathematics. And this is question 3. First, let's read the question. Annie and Jimmy had a sum of $380. After Annie spent two-fifths of her money and Jimmy spent one-third of his money, both of them had the same amount of money left. How much money did Jimmy have at first? Next, let's underline the key phrases for this question. So the first key phrase is that Annie and Jimmy had a sum of $380. Then and Annie spent two-fifths of her money while Jimmy spent one-third of his money. After that, both of them had the same amount of money left. So we need to find the amount of money Jimmy had at first. So let's draw a model with Annie and Jimmy having a total sum of $380. So Annie spent two-fifths of her money and Jimmy spent one-third of his money. And at the end, both of them had the same amount of money left. So these two rectangles shows the amount of money they had left, the equal amount of money they had left. So because Annie spent two-fifths of her money, this means that three units is what she had left, while Jimmy spent one-third of his money. So two units will be what he has left. So the total number of units Annie had at first would be five units, while Jimmy will have three units. So you can see that their units for Annie and Jimmy are not equal. So how to make them equal? Because we know that they had the same amount of money left. This means that this part and this part of the rectangle must be equal. Alright, the blue part here. So how to make these units equal? So from these three smaller units and these two bigger units, we can make them into 6. So how to make into 6? So each smaller unit of any will be 2 units each. So 2, 4, 6. While Jimmy, 1 unit will be 3. 3 units and will be 6. So you see that the blue part are equal to 6 units. This means that for any, each unit here will also be six, 2 units and each unit here will be 2 units as well. And for Jimmy, this will be 3 units. So total, you can see that for any, there will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So any has 10 units altogether, while Jimmy will have 3, 6, 9. 9 units altogether. So their total number of units for any and Jimmy will be 19 units. So 19 units will be equals to $380. So we need to find the amount of money Jimmy have at first, which means that we need to find 9 units. So 19 units is 380, 1 unit will be 20. So 9 units will be 20, multiply by 9, you get 180. So Jimmy had $180 at first. Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.